Hey guys, for this video we're going to take a quick look at this Airworks 35P by Base Air Dehumidifier. They were nice enough to send me this for free so I can make a video showing it to you. I want to go through all the features and what it comes with so you got a basic idea of how this guy works. So in addition to the dehumidifier itself, you get the instruction manual. And we also get two hoses, which we'll talk about more here in a second. But you have a smaller diameter and a larger diameter hose. Now this is for mostly basements and crawl spaces. You may have a situation in your garage or shop or something that you may want to use one of these. But really important to use a dehumidifier to reduce. If you have high humidity in an area, you're going to get mold and mildew. It's unhealthy. It's uncomfortable. So some people just have to use a dehumidifier 24-7. I have one in my basement. It never stops because you want to keep all that stuff in check. So if you're wondering, your humidity, you want to keep it generally between 40 and 50%, uh, anywhere in there, and you're pretty good to go. Now looking at this one specifically, we have this label. Let me just show you this label because I think it's easier for you to read some of the information yourself. But a couple of things, it is Energy Star rated, and we do have that ETL certificate, which we like to see on things of this nature, just to feel better about it. But this can do a large area, and one thing I really like, the reason that we have the two different hoses, is it can be a gravity drain, which is the most common for dehumidifiers, or it also does have a pump inside here, and it can actually pump the water out, which is definitely an upgrade, not something you get all the time. The one I have in my basement is just gravity feed goes to my sump pit. So we have our larger diameter hose and that's for your gravity drain and that's this plug right here. You just have this little rubber plug, pull it out, hook up that plastic hose and run it somewhere, <laughs> you know, like a sump pit that uh, gets the water all out for you. Now the smaller diameter, you get much more hose with that and that's going to connect when using the pump mode, which we're going to look at here in a second. Let me rotate this guy around. This is your inlet with your screen here, little filter guy comes out. There's your coils it's doing all the business inside there. So that's easy to take out. You see this little plug right here? That is where our smaller diameter hose is going to go if we are using the pump style or the pump option so we have a fairly long cord on this guy there is a handle up at the top there's a little bit of weight to this guy it's not it's not too bad it's not like you can't carry it and pick it up and everything but it does have a little bit of weight okay let's look at the screen here I'll zoom in just a little bit so we can go over what all the different functions are so the power button that one we got we know what the power button is we have what our current humidity is right here we're sitting at 46 the drain button is to switch between gravity or pump. If you press and hold it for three seconds, you'll hear a beep and that light by pump is going to come on. So now we're going through the pump mode. So if we were to turn this on, water is going to be coming out of that, um, the guy in the end that we're going to hook up the little hose to. Now if you want to use gravity, press and hold three time, or three seconds. And now we're back to the gravity draining of the water. So inside here, it's basically a tray, kind of like maybe what you have in your refrigerator or if you had like a mini fridge or something, there's a tray at the bottom that collects water. In that instance, it just naturally evaporates. But for something like this where we're actively trying to draw moisture out of the air, we're going to get more moisture in this guy. And this kind of, it's a float switch. It works kind of like a sump pump or if you ever look inside your toilet tank, you got the little float switch there. Same principle, the water level gets to a certain height, a certain amount of water in this guy. It's going to trigger the pump to turn on, and that's going to flush out all of the water. Now, if your screen ever says E4 on it, that is, this thing shut down because the water level got too high. For some reason, maybe the pump isn't working, or if you're using the gravity drain, maybe it's clogged. Maybe if you have your hose, like let's say you were going to a sump pit, and the hose is actually in the pit and the water level of the pit gets higher to where water's not draining anymore and it's backing up in your tube instead, something like that could cause it. But whatever it is, if you see E4, you have a water problem, it's shutting down to prevent having a water leak or causing damage or anything. So it's, it's, it's functioning correctly, you just have to figure out why the water isn't draining out like it should. Now the GPP mode is to switch from humidity to a different 
basis of measurement, which isn't relevant to us. We're going off the humidity. So there's that. The set button is to change what we have it set at. And you see every time we hit set, it's going to go up 5% all the way up to 80. CO is for continuously running. It's just going to run all the time. You probably won't be needing to use that actually too often. Nope, we don't want it on. <laughs> and the lowest is 25. We actually don't want that. That is too low. You want to stay between 40. You want to stay between 40 and 50%. Now you notice even though I turned it off, the fan is still running. That's another design to get everything cleared out. It'll run for, I think it said 30 or 45 seconds after you turn it off. You can see the fan running there. Now it is separate, but you saw the jack right there that you can plug into. You can get a wired remote control to also control this thing so you can remotely, you know, the word remote, be somewhere else and still control your dehumidifier. But especially, I mean, anyone with a basement may be using it, but if you have like a finished space or something where drywall or wood could mold, you got, I don't know if you want carpet, but good way to dry things out. And, um, well, I'll tell you, this is nicer than the one I have. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad to have this one now. And there it is, guys. The Airworks 35P Base Air Dehumidifier. The power supply uses up to 2.9 amps. It's R32 refrigerant. Just looking to see if it said square footage on here of how big of a space it'll handle. I don't see it on here. It might be in the uh, the owner's manual. Anyway, it, it'll... I'm going to guess like 1,500 square feet. But don't take my word on that one. You'll have to look that up yourself. There it is, guys. Thanks for watching.